One day, Jesus was invited to dinner at the house of a well-known scholar of the Jewish law. When the people were sitting down at the table, Jesus saw that everyone was trying to get the best seats. Then he told a story to everyone in the room. Imagine that you are invited to a wedding. What do you think is wiser, to sit in the best seats or the ones that are not as good? Imagine that you take a good seat that was reserved for someone who knows the bride better than you do. Then the groom, in front of everyone, would have to send you to another seat. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? On the other hand, imagine you sit in a bad seat and the bride knows you well. Then the groom would come to you in front of everyone and ask you to sit closer to him and you would be honored. For that reason, if you host a dinner, don't invite people who are rich and well-known and who would invite you to their homes in return. Instead, invite the people who are poor or sick, people who are blind or homeless or foreign, people who will not be able to repay you for your hospitality. All they will be able to give you is their gratitude. One thing I can tell you for certain, God will not forget what you did, and he will reward you. This is Roman. Roman is planning his wedding and sends invitations to all of his friends. One of his friends receives the invitation, but decides not to go because he is busy painting his new house. Another friend receives the invitation, but also decides not to go because he has a new girlfriend and would rather spend time with her. Another of Roman's friends receives the invitation, but does not want to go because he planned to go on vacation during that time and does not want to change his plans. As Roman's wedding celebration starts, none of his friends have come. Roman is frustrated with his friends because other things were more important to them than coming to his wedding. But Roman decides to go out to the streets and invite all of the people that he meets to come to his wedding. As the celebration starts, there are many different people sitting at the table that normally would not know each other or even get along. That being said, Roman is happy. He is happy with all the people that are at his wedding celebration. Jesus told this story to show his listeners that God welcomes everyone to know him no matter who they are or what their background is. Jesus challenged all of his friends whom he called disciples, to leave everything behind in order to follow him, friends, family, their jobs, their homes, their money, and all of their possessions. This is Henry. Henry wants to build a tower. His friend Sam tells him to think about a few things before he starts. For example, does Henry have enough money, time, and workers to build the tower? But Henry does not listen to Sam. He starts to build his tower right away. When the tower is halfway done, Henry had to stop building because he ran out of money. Everyone in the area laughed at Henry because he had bragged about building a huge tower. Instead, he was only able to build half of the tower. With this story, Jesus gave a warning to the people who wanted to follow him. He showed him that following him will not be easy. Whoever wants to follow him should know that it will come with a cost. He told them this so that they don't quit when things get difficult. You are the salt of the earth. As food is tasteless without salt, something is missing if you are not in the world. If salt itself becomes tasteless and you can't spice anything with it, what is it good for? You simply have to throw it away. 